What's good, babies? It's day 20 in our How to Write a Book in 30 Days series. Listen, before we get into that, I'm T. Styles. I own and operate the Cartel Publications as well as the Elite Writers Academy where I teach people how to build their book businesses through story structure and marketing magic because you don't want to write a book and not have any idea how to sell it. So I teach people how to do that through my business. But I want to say something to you before we get into our quote. First, I want to say congratulations, because if you've gotten this far, it means that you are serious. So I just want to start by saying congratulations. And I want to go into this quote and listen to it. Show up, get to work, even when you don't feel like writing, especially when you don't feel like writing. Danielle H. Pink. I need to talk about two things today. The first thing is there is this assumption that you have to be motivated to write or that you have to be inspired. The inspiration may have come in the initial part of your book, and it also is probably the reason is tied closely to the reason you're writing your book, which is totally different from what the protagonist's reason is. Um, but that reason or that inspiration is not enough to always sustain you. Um, and that's why this process of writing a book in 30 days is so important because you're tricking your brain into realizing that not only do you have to write, but you can't not write. You have to write, you know. So I want to let you know that you're not going to always be inspired and, and nor is that your duty. But you do have a commitment to yourself when the moment you sat down and said, I'm going to write this book to write this book. And that's the, what this lesson is essentially talking about today. It says, um, how are you? Hopefully by now you have over 100 pages, which you should, because if you're writing every day based on this book, which we initially said four to five pages a day, you should definitely have well over 100 pages. There are many, many writers who have not come as far as you have today. I've seen them, and this is true. I've seen people be so excited about a book. They start, they allow different things to happen in their lives to stop them, and they put their pens down. Okay, you haven't done that, and I'm proud of you. But it's time to start building your financial security. And you can do that by writing best-selling novels and building a really rich bibliography, building a, um, a backlist that will pay your bills long after you decide to stop writing. If I were to stop writing right now, I have a backlist that will sustain me and keep my income coming into for myself and my family. Um, so it's so important that you do that. And you do that with starting and not stopping. If you keep a journal, go back to the day you started writing your book. Think about how excited you felt. Try to bring the energy over to today. It's okay to feel sad, mad, and happy of, of, through various stages of the project, but what it's not okay to do is to quit. You will go through different emotions. I never said you were gonna to be totally happy the whole throughout the entire process. I don't wanna to lie to you. But I want you to understand that if you don't quit, your something magical happens where you'll find yourself in a position to be in automatic mode. So I don't feel like writing today, but I'm going to sit down and write today. And then you'll find out that some things just flow to you. And even if you don't have the four pages to do, you know, what if, what if you only have the one or two sentences? Um, that's okay sometimes. Again, I don't want you to get caught up into settling for less. But making a commitment to continue to write, even if it's two or three sentences, will put you in automatic mode. It will continue to have your creative energies open so that you will have access to the ideas and, and, the, and, the, and the twist plots and the different things that you need to sponsor an amazing book. I'm so proud of you guys. I'm so proud that you continue on your journey. The exercise for today says that you've come this far. Think about where you started. Do you feel more confident with your story today than you did when you first start? Um, what changed since you first started writing to make your storyline stronger? What, dif dif what kind of tools did you get? Did your environment change in any way, like the people in and around your lives? So I want you to think about those things, okay? What can you do to make your story better from this point on? Can you learn more? Can you be happier? Can you be easier with yourself? You know, I write doing this for a long time. And I'm telling you, I, write a, I wrote a lot of trash. And I'm okay with the trash because I know that the, from the trash becomes these best-selling books. So be easy on yourself. 
you can't expect for your first draft to be amazing. So if you're considering what you're writing, you're thinking about throwing it away, I'm asking you not to do that. I'm asking you to hold fast and keep going because we are ready for your story. If you need help, join the Elite Writers Academy. Again, I have you. I'm here to help you. The link is in the bio. You'll have access to my twice, two classes a month, my past classes, and access to me. Love you guys. Bye.